Greetings. I'm Raining Moon, and this is Oak Moon Grove. Today I want to share with you the medicine of the South. Now, there are many cultures that have their own versions and symbols for the direction of the South, uh, from the Celtic Druids to the Egyptians, and even varying amongst different tribes of Native Americans. So this is just some wisdom that I have gathered that I follow. To me, the medicine of the South is a time of summer and of high noon heat. Its medicine is that of the child, the sapling, full of trust, curiosity, and courage. This is a time of mouse medicine, seeing the world as vast and full of wonder, noticing all the small details that perhaps others might pass by. It's a time of growth, as the plants lean to face the life-giving energy of our beautiful sun star, raising up their leaves, turning from that yellow-green of spring to the deep emerald of summer. Flowers bursting forth in their blazing beauty, insects buzzing from petal to petal, fruits growing heavy, bringing their hydration to birds, insects, and animals who need it. The medicine of the South is that of the lizard, the dragonfly, song of the coyote, and the thunderstorm. Where the autumn and winter are about going within, the summer energy of the South is about branching out, communing, feeling the web of kinship and where you fit in amongst all your relations to the web of life in harmony for the good of all, connecting to your soul tribe, celebrating this vital time of life and abundance. It's a time of gathering in sacred groves and dancing with the vigor of youth, the spiral dance of joy, directing currents of power, energy, movement, and manifestation. The medicine of the South is creation and expression of yourself and your unique gifts to share with the world to help bring growth and awakening to light. To me, this direction is linked with the golden energy of the solar plexus chakra. Um, this is a center of personal growth and how you shine in this world with courage, facing your shadow to bring illumination and freedom. The South is coming out and open with desire, burning heat and passion. We ignite an expansion. Life moving forward, wills powered by intention and desire. The summer solstice is the zenith of the sun's strength. It means literally standing of the sun. And it's the longest day of the year. The time of the sacred oak, a symbol of strength and the power of nature. The color of the south is red, like fire. The element of fire is linked with passion, creativity and sexual union. It is a primal, sacred medicine of wholeness embodying love. Fire is also an element of transformation. Like a forest fire of pine trees, burning away the old so that new life can begin. A teacher of the South is the Heoka, the trickster, the coyote. Unsettling complacency and bringing a message to make you think calling you in to make sure that the path that you're on is intentional and right for you, to break out of the box of unconsciousness. The South also brings with it the medicine of the cicada. The cicada is um, it's an insect who spends much of its life cycle burrowed deeply in the ground, honoring the wisdom of the underworld 
Beneath the Earth's surface, it is confined by darkness and the weight of third density, but eventually it transforms and sheds its old body and Earth cycle, taking to the air, attaining higher etheric frequency and singing the song of the Earth Mother. The cicada is the loudest insect on the planet. Its song is the song of summer and transcendence, teaching us to walk through life's intense challenges, to hold a balance between shadow density and expansive light. It's a song of surrender to the wisdom and music of the earth. Grow, dance, transform. This is the medicine of the South. I hope you enjoyed this video and what I shared here. Please continue to join me on this journey and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I wish you love, serenity, and grace. Namadie.